Joining me now is Dr. Ben Carson, former Housing and Urban Development Secretary. Dr. Carson, your reaction to today's executive actions and Susan Rice's announcement of them? Well, it's pretty amazing uh, how people try to frame everything uh, racially and how they uh, create divisions among our society. You know, I grew up in the 50s and 60s, and I can tell you what real racism was like. It, it was an everyday event. The world is very different here in America right now. And, you know, to use race as a mechanism to obtain power and position, I think is really quite shameful. And in fact, race relationships have deteriorated. Why have they deteriorated? Because of the great emphasis trying to create white guilt and black victimhood. Those are two very bad things, and when you put them together, it results in some policies that absolutely make no sense. So the, the real uh, conflict here is between common sense and idiocy. idiocy. That's what's really going on. Now, on PBS tonight, responding to the criticisms of the Biden executive actions, Susan Rice said this. It's a bit rich, frankly, for Republicans to suggest that by trying to lift up everybody, we are dividing America. We just had four years of the most divisive, uh, vitriolic uh, presidency that, that one can imagine. Um, and that, that division was a political strategy. And thankfully, it hasn't worked uh, because it is not what the American people want. Dr. Carson, not only record low unemployment, uh, record wage growth uh, and criminal justice reform, uh, community uh, engagement with uh, new investment in inner city, an attempt to Oppor reach out to yeah, opportunity yeah. zones, uh, none, of it, none of it registers because they don't want it to register. Yeah, well, they're, they're saying, don't believe your eyes, just believe what we're telling you. And you are a victim, and these people are oppressing you. And I appeal to the American people to stop listening to the foolishness and use your brain and believe what you see and what you feel. You know, America is full of very good people. The vast majority of Americans are decent individuals. They will extend a helping hand to anyone who is in need, including their neighbors. They don't ask if you're a Democrat or a Republican. But we have a political class and a media that does nothing but specialize in stirring up anger and stirring up resentment. And I guess that makes them feel powerful and makes them feel needed. I would appeal to them to maybe listen to their better angels. You know, this is a time when we can make tremendous progress. Everybody's talking about unity and working together. Let's actually do that. We create our own problems, and we are going to be the ones who destroy this country if we continue to listen to the purveyors of division and hatred. It's in our hands, the people. Uh, one of Biden's executive orders, um, Secretary Carson, took aim at federal housing policy. Of course, you used to be in charge of that. Watch. Housing is a right in America, and home ownership is an essential tool to wealth creation and to be passed down to generations. Today, I'm directing the Department of Housing and Urban Affairs and Urban Development to redress the historical racism in federal housing policies. Dr. Carson, uh, do you feel he's attacking you directly in that statement? Uh, well, I don't, I don't feel attacked because I think we made a tremendous amount of progress in that area recognize that the majority of discrimination cases in housing had nothing to do with race. It had to do with disabilities. Uh, we're very concerned about housing and have moved, removed many of the obstacles, particularly for minorities, because it's the primary mechanism for wealth creation in this country. The average homeowner is worth $200,000. The average renter is worth $5,000. Obviously, we want to change that dynamic. We need to work on the policies that will allow that to be done. And I hope that this administration, rather than uh, feeling the need to point fingers, will uh, utilize some of the gains mm -hmm. that we made, capitalize upon those, and make more progress. Well, raising energy prices, which is what's happening now, you probably noticed uh, what's happening at the pumps, but that's going to be a big uh, added cost to most people, especially Absolutely. on the lower ends of the economic ladder. It's horrific. Dr. Carson, great to and see the, you tonight. And that's, that's, 
Well, let me just say that's an area where we need to make progress and common sense because we say we have to have these solar panels. And yet, if you open a solar panel, what's in there? Copper and other kinds of elements that they're trying to suppress uh, through the Department of Interior. It makes no sense. Uh, Dr. Carson, thanks so much.